Luke Davis here on Shaman TV, joined by Pete Wild. So a 1-0 win. What are your thoughts on the game? I thought a really good tactical display by us today. Um, I thought we got we tweaked how we've been playing in recent weeks because we've been conceding goals and uh, and we, we, we got. I think the boys got it tactically spot on today, and I'm really pleased for them. I think they deserve a lot of credit today. Yeah, that certainly showed early on. We've been pretty much totally dominant from the first minute. Yeah, yeah. We we, we wanted to, them to try and we knew they were going to play around. But I've watched them. I thought they're a real good football inside, and we had to try to stop them being a good football inside. And I thought we did that tactically today. We uh, limited them to shots from distance. A couple of things that come in our box that we dealt with, well with. But uh, all in all, really pleased with the, the day's work. Of course, a couple of chances from set pieces with a few corners coming close. Yeah, yeah. We've uh, again, we're always trying to work on set pieces to try and make them better. Um, and I'm unlucky with certainly two of them today. Yeah, of course, and uh, but it just a few about half hour in just sort of seemed like maybe the chances weren't quite going to fall right. Yeah, one thing when you come here is that it's a tight pitch. Uh, they defend very well. They make it tough in central areas. And I'd already, I said during the week that it might take us 60, 70 minutes to break them down and, and don't get frustrated because our chances will come. Where on the day we should take more chances. We've had a lot of chances. We should be taking more than chances. But really pleased to keep a clean sheet on them. And of course, Matty Warburton stepping up to score Town's first penalty of the season. Yeah. Uh, it's funny because I've been arguing with officials, not like me, as you know, um, about we don't get penalty decisions and we should have had a penalty last week and we didn't get one. So I'm, I'm glad that for once it's evened itself out today. Yeah, certainly stayed on the front foot and uh, more of the same in the second half. Yeah, I thought we pressed well. I think, I think, I think like I said, the lads have tactically got it spot on today and, and they deserve all the credit for le listening to us, uh, letting us give them some information that could help them uh, and them implementing today, I'm, I'm dead pleased for them. Of course, as you'd expect, Wilson up the pressure late on, but we held on. Of course, when it gets later in the game, everybody throw, starts throwing bent men forward, they start throwing Cook forward, the big centre-half, to try and give him some more aerial threat. Uh, but well done to the boys for standing strong. Yeah, like you mentioned, good to get a clean sheet. Over the moon to get a clean sheet. Over the moon to get a clean sheet. Clean sheets are the, are the backbone of seasons, and to get another one today is, is really pleasing. You had to make a couple of changes to the team today, a couple of them in force with uh, Deborah and Alan missing through injury. Yeah, so Jesse's picked up a knock in training on Thursday, uh, which has ruled him out today. And uh, I give young Jack a rest today because Elliot's been excellent when he's come on in games, he's been knocking the door down, deserved the chance, and uh, I thought I'd give Elliot that chance today. And of course, quick turnaround now, Kings Lynn at home on Tuesday. Yeah, looking forward to the game, getting ourselves down to Shea, let's get the Shea booming again, uh, and then let's hopefully an another good tactical display by the boys and see where that takes us. Cheers, thank you. Thank you.